Hello, this is a video on what I think is the easiest way to jailbreak an iPod Touch. I've tried using, um, I've tried downgrading to 1.1.1 and then going on to jailbreakme.com. That did not work for me. This software, however, works for anything or for any firmware. I'm using 1.1.4. I would suggest just upgrading to that as well. Um, just because it's the newest, you don't need to, but it's what I use. And then what you want to do is go to a website called xiphone.org. And this is where you get the stuff. And um, there's this link that says click here to download Xiphone. You want to click that. And then either choose, if you have a Mac, choose that. If you have Windows, choose that. And then click on it, and then um, save it to wherever you'd like to. Um, just for the sake of saving time, I have already done this. And this is what the program looks like. It is called Xiphone. And yeah, um, there's a few things that you need to do first, though. Um, first off, what you want to do is close your iTunes. So close that, and then you want to unlock your iPod. And then what you want to do, super easy to do, just hit jailbreak. Be sure not to hit jailbreak and activate, or any of these other ones, just jailbreak. And then you'll get this little spinning thing, and it says it's detected, and then your iPhone or iPod Touch will shut off and start back up and you'll get this thing that has a little uh, sorry if it's not focusing right it puts it in recovery mode and then you'll get a whole bunch of flashing white text iTunes will open up again just close it um, otherwise it's going to try to do some stupid stuff that you don't want it to um, anyway then a little Z and not a little Z but a Z will pop up on your screen and it'll shut off again and more flashing white text will come and then another Z will pop up. And then once you get to this screen, it, you've got it down. Um, takes a little while because it's installing the basic apps. I'm not sure, but you're going to want some Wi-Fi. Um, not 100% sure on that, but just I'd be safe and see if you can move off someone else's Wi-Fi or have your own. Um, then it'll restart again. And voila. Your iPod Touch has successfully been jailbroken, and it took about two minutes. It'll take longer if you have to download um, software, which I had to do. But um, it's only like 20 megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long unless your iPod or unless your internet connection really sucks. But it's totally worth it. Um, I can make another video on some of my favorite applications. Um, but yeah, if you want to install stuff, there's this thing called Installer. Just hit that, and it'll probably say Refreshing Sources, or it checks for them. But um, yeah, just go through, and there's a ton of things to uh, download. But yeah, I hope this helped. It's the easiest way that I know. Um, I haven't known. I've told a few friends how to do it this way. None of theirs got bricked. And it's the safest thing and the easiest and the fastest that I know of. So I hope this video helped. Oh, um, also, I guess when you get to installer, it's going to say, do you want to update the installer? Just say, yeah. And uh, then it says it's successfully been updated, blah, 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 go to installer again. <sighs> we'll boot up. And when I first jailbroke mine, I remember it saying something about um, you needing to donate, just say I've already donated and that message will stop coming up. And
that is all you need to know on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch.